or Wario did it against Tweak, and then Meister, obviously, with his game and watch. Actually, did he face Meister? He faced, uh, no, he faced Light in Losers. That's my mistake. Oh, Light. Okay. I did. I wasn't able to see the whole tournament, so I missed some of those games. Umeki making his entire run yesterday with Daisy. Yes, Daisy. Uh, yeah, so this matchup, Wario's kind of at a at a weight that is comfortable for Daisy to combo. Mm -hmm. But you're never out of, of the woods against Wario because as long as he's you know eating those bean burritos, he's got something to fire back with. I mean, if that gut is filled, he has a chance. Yes, sirree. Uh, I think we have so a bit of audio issues with Umeki's headset, but hopefully we should be getting those fixed. Something I cannot support that Gutni does is he uses the uh, WarioWare skin for Wario, which is clearly inferior to the vanilla Wario. I mean, neither of them have anything on the cotton candy skin. That's all I'm saying. All I can say is the classic Wario games. I'll agree with that. I'll Wario agree with that. Game one on the Town and City. Winner's quarters here, and Umeki just starting this off like any other match, he would immediately pull a turnip. Yeah, tries, tries to get greedy with a combo right there, but uh, but uh, Gluttony just mashing it Nair out of it. Um, I would have loved to see what he was going for there. Those turnip combos can be pretty crazy, and pulls a dot eye super early in the match. Uh, looks like he's not going to get anything for it, except for a little bit of shield pressure. Okay, gets a trade there. And these float canceled up airs are great for catching your opponent's landing. Uh, because Daisy is able to cancel the lag, uh, she can crush her opponents above her very well. Counters the bike though, and that extended hitbox off of the toad is enough to reach Gluttony. Trades with the F-Tilt too. Yeah, the way that hitbox comes out is a little wonky, too. Uh, the first uh, few hits of it, I mean, the last hit of it hits a little further than the rest. Uh, so if you should always shield if you think that's going to hit you. But extending the back air hitbox off of the bike, Umeki is able to draw first blood here. Yeah. Okay, Gluttony has got Umeki boxed up in the corner here. Okay, dash attack gonna take that stock from Mechie there. Pulling another turnip. Shields after the float, but that back arrow not in time. Mechie did have enough to get the shield going, but look at this combo from Glutney. Yeah, huge damage here from Glutney. And though, you may say, I was going to say you may say this even, but that uh, that's the reason it's not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is, that is the one mechanic that can tilt a matchup in Wario's favor. It is the great equalizer, Wario's Waft, at a moment's notice, and still at a point in the game, only two minutes in, still has enough time to get a half waft, even another full waft going. Oh, yeah. Oh, gets the weak nair into the grab there, into another nair. Solid combo from uh, Umeki here, but he's going to have to do a lot more if he wants to take this. Goes the bike forward, may not even need the waft at the rate he's going, but excellent pressure from Umeki. Okay, floats out there and uses a jump to try to go out and pressure him. But uh, Gluttony's seen that one before. Attempted the trump, but the back throw on top of the platform with all that rage is going to get. Okay, this dot eyes could be what Umeki needs here to turn this around. Oh, okay, catches it, he still has it. Oh, and now Gluttony has it, the tables have turned. That bite the command grab in the wrong direction. Although the up special on the yep. shield. And that will kill off the side. Uh, that's really clever going for that with Gluttony there because normally that move wouldn't kill. Uh, but because it was so far off to the side of the map and he drifted to the right with it, he got the hitbox that sent him, sent him off stage. 
Yeah, Wario's up special, it's another one of those moves where it's a bit ambiguous as to the direction it's going to send you. Yeah. It doesn't just send you like straight left or straight right either, it can send you at different angles on both sides. So you just have to react instantly and Bumeki just plummeted off the side there. into up air, up air. Okay, this is the other. What am I trying to say? Okay, he lands with the, the turn up and gets the nair there. Like, that could be what Umeki needs because Glutney's been pouring it on right now. He's doing a great job of keeping Umeki in disadvantage, but each his damage is, the potential is crazy, and then that bear just closes out the stock. Suddenly, Umeki's got the lead here. Just like last game, though, hopefully he doesn't lose a stock yeah, to one of those wall setups. That crown absolutely packs a punch. Umeki on the verge of dying there. Air dodges to get himself back to the stage a bit faster. Okay. Glutiny, I love the pressure out there from forward tilt. That will push you away. Down tilt dash attack, though, is such a great confirm on Mario's part. Yeah. Okay. Glutiny just does such a great job of not fishing for down tilt. He always has that combo and that conversion in the back of his mind, but he never makes it obvious. Mm -hmm. Fair to fair. Oh, gets the bike. Oh, uh, yep. There's the half walk there. Uh, for the up tilt, and immediately this game has just shifted momentum, just seeping up. What a catch with the I up special! Love that. Yeah. Oh no, Umeki getting rid of that dot eyes there, perhaps by accident. Okay, okay, aerial down down fair. Fair. okay Umeki, Umeki's floating threateningly, but Lutney not deterred as he goes in. Okay, down tilt to grab. Umeki's trying to land here. Gets the F tilt. Now it's Glut Glutiny's turn. He lands with that back air. Floats to avoid the bike. Umeki about 20% down, but or 20% up, but still very much in Glutiny's grasp. If he can get one move, one F tilt. Oh, such a clever use of that forward air hitbox. Mm -hmm. it, it's a huge one, and it starts up super high like that. Yeah, that crown actually has a tiny bit of disjoint, and it's enough to actually reach through the platform after most floats, which uh, Mechie did right there. Disjoint. <laughs> I, I hope that sarcasm on tiny disjoint came through because it, it's it's yeah. Oh it, yes. If you see the visualization of that, it it. it mm. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like in in the Peach and Daisy matchup, spacing around fair is probably the most important thing to learn. Right. Because Peaches and Daisies will use that as a spacing tool all day just to keep you away and and threaten and just kind of force you into doing something stupid. <laughs> So game three, winner's quarters, unlike Congo Saga, this is a best of three, so whoever yeah. drops this game will be heading to loser's bracket. Okay, grab, up air. Umeki here, got another turn up. But he's just getting stuffed out by this bike. Oh, he rolls behind the counter. That was so smart by Glutiny. Occupying the space at the ledge and the drop down down air. Umeki, too much of a veteran to get caught by that. Okay, shield pressure here from Glutiny. Glutiny hovers threateningly around. Oh, he just gets the fair there. Oh, and you know, you know it's worse than being tied with Wario where he has off. Being down to Wario, I'd imagine. 
That's absolutely correct. Because, I mean, Glutiny could just take another stock right now if he gets the right setup. Yeah, one waft and things could go from oh, bad to worse. Doesn't even need the waft. The Is Wario Glutiny chance gonna coming three out? stock this guy right here? Oh, there's the Saturn. This guy. Okay, I guess not. Unteckable there. Just gonna use the Daisy Bomber on the bike. Lumeki's still holding on to the Saturn. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of setups you can get with that. Uh, at lower percents, it's a little harder, but uh, I'm really curious to see if Lumeki can get anything going with this. And uh, the Saturn going, changing hands back and forth. But another waft! Ah! Tony just 